Okay, I am going to make some roasted vegetables. I have my baking dish and then a lot of different veggies here that I'm gonna chop everything up. I'll peel these and everything else will just wash and then put them into this dish with some olive oil, lemon, um, a little bit of Dijon mustard. It just helps like enhance the flavors and then some fresh spices here. I can hide. Okay, I've cut up all my vegetables here and I put them all in a bowl together. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some garlic. I'll probably do about maybe six cloves of garlic. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the garlic here with some olive oil, lemon, and then just a little bit of Dijon mustard. That'll help just enhance the flavors. And then I'll sprinkle my spices all on top, mix it all together, and then put it in the oven at 375 for probably about an hour or so. You'll wanna wait until the veggies are soft. Sometimes it depends on how thick you cut them, but that's something you can just um, figure out as you go. Okay, so what I've done is I've added some olive oil to my, I did some pressed garlic and some quartered garlic, and then I added about that much of um, Dijon mustard and olive oil. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my lemon squeezer and I'm going to squeeze in some fresh lemon. So I'll probably do about one full lemon in here. I want them to be very lemony. Okay, so you're literally just going to squeeze the fresh lemon in. Now that I have everything in here, I'm going to mix all the garlic in and then I'm going to just pour it over top of the veggies once I put it in the pan. So I'll put everything in the pan first and then pour this over. Okay, so we're going to take this and then pour it all on top. And we're actually going to add just a little bit of sea salt and pepper as well. Then put all of our, yeah, sure, go. And then put all of our herbs and spices on there from that little dish. And we'll cover it with foil and put it in the oven for about an hour. So we will add our sea salt. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera there, but we're just adding sea salt. You'll want to do like a pretty generous amount of sea salt. And then we're gonna add the fresh pepper. And then we'll mix everything up and cover it with foil once we have our herbs put on as well. About halfway through, I take them out and just check how they're doing. Um, I mean, it's potatoes and veggies. It's not that <laughs> stressful, but um, I just took a fork and put it through one of the potatoes and they're soft. So now that they've gone soft, what I'm going to do is take the um, tin foil off and just let them cook on their own now. And that'll give them that roasted um, sort of drier, not dry, but like a crispier potato. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, this is how the veggies turned out. They are so good, you guys. I really recommend trying them. Um, just so flavorful. They're like crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. Amazing. Okay, and then to make it into a bowl, I just added some cut quinoa, some blanched kale, and put the roasted veggies. And then you can add a little bit more of the um, oil from the bottom of the pan. And if it needs, some salt and pepper, and that's it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching these videos and making these recipes and constantly encourage me. So make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and leave me a comment in the comment I section below. I get so below. caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down